Hey everybody and welcome to another Subtandy 2023 video. In this video I'm going to be upgrading my stock Color Computer 3, also known as a Coco 3, from the factory 128k memory to a whopping 512k of memory. I'm also going to be upgrading the case badge. It currently shows 128k. When I'm done it will show 512k. Sit back, relax, and let's jump right into it. Before I open up the machine and do the memory upgrade, I wanted to show you the stock original Tandy 128K Color Computer 3 badge. Pretty awesome. With the Color Computer 3, they changed it from saying Radio Shack here to Tandy. The Coco 1 and the Coco 2s all say TRS-80 Radio Shack. Coco 3 say Tandy, just thought I'd point that out. But what I'm going to do once I do the memory upgrade is replace the badge with this. Check that out. Tandy Color Computer 3 512K. This is a metal badge. It is a reproduction, of course. And it's got a little plastic film on there, which I'll pull that off once I have it installed. But I mean, that is going to look, I mean, it's just going to look like that. It's going to be beautiful. I am a little concerned with getting this badge off. I'd like to try to get it off in one piece. So I'm going to use a heat gun and light pressure to get it off. So wish me luck on that. And now let's flip over the machine and show you the bottom before I open it up. Before I flip the computer over and crack it open, I thought I should show you the uh, memory upgrade board I will be putting in. That is the Cloud9 Triad 512K SRAM memory upgrade. I will put a link in the description to where you can get one of these yourself. And at the time when I ordered mine, it's been over a year now. Uh, it came with the metal badge. I'm not sure if that's still included, but I just thought I'd point that out. All right, let's grab the machine and open it up. Here is the bottom of my Color Computer 3. I don't think I've ever shown the bottom of the machine on the channel, so I'll do a quick cover of the bottom. We got the, uh, the RGB port there. Here's all the branding for it. Tandy 128K Color Computer 3 model 26-3334, serial number 1152417. It's double insulated and so yeah here is the bottom here is a sticker this machine has never been opened so this will be the first time it's been cracked open since it was put together at the factory back in the mid 1980s I'm gonna try to save this sticker so I'm gonna heat it up and use a razor blade and try to peel it off and then just maybe stick it over here but there is a screw under here that I need to get to to open up the case so let me go grab the heat gun and take care of that real quick. And with the magic of editing, we are back. You will notice I got the sticker removed. It was right here. I stuck it over here. And you can see a slight discoloring. So there is a little bit of yellowing to this case, but as you've seen, it's in really great shape. I did take some alcohol and clean off a little bit of the sticky goo here, but the sticker will now live here forever. So I've got a screw here, 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 and here. So I believe six total screws. Oh yeah, and there's a screw here to get into this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, I am now into the machine, but I wanted to give you a little tip for any of you that'll be opening up a Color Computer 3 for the first time, or again, down the road. The screws, so the screws for the front and the middle area are the same size. But the two screws in the back that go back there, they're longer. So just make sure that when you're putting this back together, you put the long screws in the back of the machine. So literally the back of the machine, doesn't matter which direction it is, but keyboard's the front, port's on the back. So there you go. Just wanted to show you that real quick. And now to uh, start the memory upgrade process. According to the instructions for the memory upgrade, which I will show you here, here's what we need to do. Remove all the screws, we've done that. 
locate and remove the four memory chips labeled IC16, IC17, IC18, and IC19. Those are right here, one, two, three, four. They are in sockets, so that's great. And what else? Locate and, re and or remove, cut the small capacitor labeled C66 as well as C65. So uh, there is C65. That layer is C66, so I'm gonna go ahead and snip those. I do plan on upgrading the CPU in a future video as well as recapping this. So when I do that, I will remove those out. And I'm looking here and I'm gonna to need to clean the inside of this case, even though it's never been opened before. It's pretty dirty in there. All right, let's remove the memory chips. Memory chips have been removed and I have snipped C65 and C66. And like I mentioned before, when I recap this, I will permanently remove those properly. Also clean the case. Here are the four memory chips I pulled out in case anyone wants to know the part numbers. These memory chips are still good. So I will put them on some anti-static foam and put them in my part stash if I need them for something else in the future. All right, now to put the memory board in. With the magic of editing, once again, the board is installed and it is very low profile. Check that out. It is super low profile, which is awesome. Next. Work on removing the badge from the top of the case. That could go really, really well or really, really bad. I do want to try to save the badge. If I can't save it, it is what it is, but I do have that nice new badge to put in its place. Let's do it. Removing the original badge went way easier than I thought it was going to be. It literally took two minutes, if that. I took my heat gun, warmed up the top of the badge here. On the underside of the case, I warmed it up there and I took a, a flat razor blade and just popped it under the corner here and just slid it across like this underneath the badge. And oh, it came right off. Look at that, came right off. It's totally fine, it's totally straight, it's not bent. And I will now have this badge if I ever wanted to revert this back to 128K, but why would I want to do that? Um, or if there's better yet, if there's somebody watching the video and they've got a color computer three and they want a really nice badge, uh, comment below or reach out to me. My contact details are on my channel about page and I'd be happy to pay it forward and give this badge to somebody that could use it for their color computer three restoration. Now I got to get this glue off of here and then install the new badge. Two hours later took a lot longer to get the old glue off than it did to remove the actual badge, but now it's nice and smooth. So when I install this new badge, it's going to look perfect. Just got to peel off the 3M tape on the back and then the little plastic cover there. And then we can fire it up and make sure the machine still works. Stand by. The badge is now installed. Look at how professional that badge looks. Tandy 512K Color Computer 3. Here is the original factory badge. Again, if there's somebody watching that needs a nice Color Computer 3 badge for their machine, reach out to me. I'd be happy to pay it forward and give it to you. Here are the caps for my upcoming recap of this computer. There is the Hitachi 6309 CPU that I will be upgrading in this machine probably at the same time. And before we power this up to make sure everything is still working, I want to give a quick shout out to the folks that support me on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash geek with social skills. Thank you for your support. And now for the moment of truth, the power on, will it still run? And it still runs. Awesome. 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 Let's go ahead and pull the lid off so you can see the memory board is installed. And the Coco 3 is running. Thank you for watching my Subtandy 2023 video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down twice. Check out my links in my description to friends of the channel. Thank you for watching. Be safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next video.